Hello friends, we are going to learn the mechanical methods of Lissajous figures. Uh, how the Lissajous figures are produced? They are of three types: mechanical type, optical type, and uh, uh, we can have the electrical type. That is, uh, before that, we have to understand the Lissajous figures. What are the Lissajous figures? Uh, when a uh, uh, <clears throat> particle is subjected to two SHMs, then uh, it will trace the various curves. It will trace the various curves, and uh, depending on the shape of the different curves, they obtain according to the different values of frequency ratio, amplitude, and phase angle. So the curves are demonstrated by Julius and Theo uh, Lissajous in 1857. Here uh, we have a uh, number of applications of uh, <coughs> Lissajous figures. Uh, for example, used to calibrate the AC signal uh, using generator of known frequency. These figures are also used to calibrate the frequencies of tuning fork. Uh, again, uh, it is used in a police radar system. So these are <coughs> very important to study. So uh, first method is mechanical method. First method is mechanical method uh, obtaining the uh, Lissajous figures. So uh, this uh, this is also known as uh, mechanical method is also known as Blackburn's pendulum. Now this figure is of Blackburn's pendulum. And uh, here, if we <coughs> look at the figure, then this is the screen, this is the uh, funnel uh, of high uh, <coughs> nozzle. And uh, here, uh, whatever uh, we poured, uh, then according to that, according to the frequencies, length, uh, it will change the path. Now, uh, here, this is the chord, C and D is, uh, is the chord. Now, uh, it is subs uh, <coughs> suspended to this chord and uh, uh, here, uh, what is the uh, main thing is that the when the pendulum is displaced at point A, so this is at point A, when pendulum is displaced at this point, A point, then uh, <coughs> allow the uh, spot will move uh, or uh, sorry not spot then whatever you may pour is move in a x x x x, di x dash direction and a periodic time of this uh, uh, p1 say p1 is equal to twice pi under root of l1 in upon g so this is uh, t is equal to twice pi in general t is equal to twice pi under root of l y g so here uh, we have we have displaced here so this length is l so l1 upon uh, sorry l l1 so l1 upon g so periodic time is like this when we when we <coughs> displace this here point e then the periodic time t2 is equal to twice pi under root of L2 upon G, L2 upon G. So, uh, when it is displaced at A, it will perform uh, along the XX direction. When it will displaced here at point E, then it will produce the, uh, <coughs> uh, trace the Y, Y along the Y, Y dash direction. So, um, the we can have both remember both the SHMs they are at perpendicular and uh, applied simultaneously uh, to the uh, funnel the, then the vibrations of nozzle uh, just according to the composition of two perpendicular SHMs now uh, from these two equations I will write T1 upon T2 T1 upon T2 is equal to uh, under root of L1 upon L2 so uh, this is the uh, <coughs> uh, 
final uh, equation for the periodic time. So, uh, if one uh, one thing is known, then another thing uh, that we can calculate. So here uh, <coughs> L1 by changing L1, this by changing L1 and L2, uh, now we can adjust the uh, different ratio of the time period and different types of uh, uh, what you can have the dissolved figures are obtained. So this is about the Blackburn's pendulum. Okay.